We're having the third annual Louisiana Seafood Cook-Off. We've got some of the best chefs from around the state gathered here in the Superdome at the New Orleans Wine and Food Experience. And the king or queen, because we do have one lady competing this year, which we're very excited about, Chef Diana. And um, the winner will represent the state of Louisiana, be the spokesperson for Louisiana Seafood for the next year for the, on behalf of the board, and will also represent us at the Great American Seafood Cook-Off at the uh, Louisiana Restaurant Show August 7th here in New Orleans as well. How has this grown over the years? Well, every year the competition gets tougher and tougher. We have better and better chefs, and the, the level of interest, we fill up the, the, the number of chefs immediately now, because we have a waiting list now. So, the, you know, the, the interest level is, is super high. We're preparing a Louisiana shrimp and crab noodle bowl. So to take on a, a Vietnamese noodle bowl, we're gonna use a lot of local ingredients. We're actually gonna boil the pasta in a little bit of absinthe and we're gonna make a sauce out of Tabasco sweet and spicy sauce. What are the advantages of cooking with Louisiana seafood? Best seafood in the world. I mean, it's so good. You really don't have to do a lot to it. It's a little bit of seasoning and uh, it's great. What advice would you have for the cooks at home? Uh, don't overcook your seafood. That's very important. All right, chef, good luck. Today, this is a play on a Vietnamese noodle bowl. So we have some angel hair noodles that we boiled with a little bit of absinthe on the bottom. We have some shrimp that we've marinated in some Worcestershire and Tabasco soy. We have a spring roll on top, which has Louisiana blue crab and a little bit of camembert cheese and corn. Some great local Creole tomatoes, a little bit of lettuce and a salad of patty pan squash, carrots. And it's been marinated with a little bit of hot and spicy Tabasco. And then we have a hot and spicy Tabasco sauce on the side with a little Tabasco soy as well. Pour just a little bit of that over your pasta. Okay. Enjoy. We're doing a simple kind of sautéed seafood dish. Um, it's kind of a take on fio piccata, where we're going to be breading the seafood in an egg breading with a, a local rice flour with a lot of herbs in it. And then there's going to be a, um, it's going to be shrimp and crab and drum. And the sauce is going to be a reduction of uh, crab and minière sauce. What's it like to cook with Louisiana seafood? Louisiana seafood is the best seafood in the world right now. It is outstanding product. It's coming out of beautiful, pristine waters, and it's safe to eat. What is the trick to, to cooking with Louisiana seafood? What advice did you have for the chefs at home? Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it sweet. And talk about. It's all about the ingredients. There's no reason to mask beautiful seafood that we have coming out to Gulf of Mexico. And it's, you know, that's my advice. If you can keep it simple, you know, saute it right, grill it right, fry it right, and you got to beat. All right. So what we have here is my play on veal piccata done with seafood. Done. So what I've done is I've taken Gulf shrimp, Louisiana drum, jumbo lump crab meat. All right, I dredged the fish and the shrimp and um, jasmine rice flour. I had them mill me some flour last week. It's fabulous. All right, then I dredged it to an egg wash. The egg wash has some herbs and some garlic in it and we pan sauteed it. All right, the sauce is a marriage of two sauces. So it's uh, almost like a crab bisque that's been reduced down to extreme. And then classic Meniere sauce that I put into an emulsion blender and pureed it and just really made it nice and light. Folded the crab meat into that. Okay, my pasta approach is uh, some local zucchini and squash that I stripped with a stripper and just sauteed it off with a little bit of garlic and, and the same herbs that's in the whole dish. Everything on that plate is local except for the microgreens and a piece of china. Basil, Thai, basil, almond, pesto sticks. Make it happen. Today I'm making a seafood curry. It is um, Louisiana seafood with a green curry coconut, spicy green curry coconut um, Thai style. What do you like about cooking with Louisiana ingredients? Uh, I will not use anything but Louisiana seafood, mostly Louisiana ingredients. Um, of course, the other side is you know Thai or Asian cooking, but um, I, I just love the freshness, the, um, the, the, the crawfish, the soft shell crab, all the shrimp. I mean, it, it's just amazingly fresh and wonderful. I won't use anything but that. <laughs> what advice do you have for the cooks at home when it comes to preparing Louisiana seafood? Uh, just make sure it's fresh, keep it all clean, and uh, just you know go into it knowing what you're doing. And what we have here is um, Louisiana seafood with a green curry, coconut spicy green curry. It's um, plated with jumbo soft shell crab, soft shell crawfish, jumbo lump crab meat, and crawfish tails, all from Louisiana, which is the most wonderful seafood in the world. And uh, just to let you all know, sh uh, chefs and judges, what we have in the little spoon is um, 
very, very Thai. It is to complement the dish, which it's already a little bit spicy, but if you like to kick it up a notch, what we do is just add a tiny bit of that onto your dish. It is uh, fish sauce with uh, the spicy green peppers to go with it. Third place goes to Chef Spazali with the Rim Room. Congratulations, Chef. All these chefs are winners today, and they're all incredible spokespeople. Second place goes to a lady by the name of Chef Sherman. <laughs> Chef Diana. And this year's winner of the Louisiana Seafood Cook-Off, who will go to represent the state of Louisiana at the Great American Seafood Cook-Off, is Chef, Chef Lusk. Woo! Give it up to Chef Lusk and Kathy Adelaide. And, and we got Chef Tory McPhail here. He's going to do the honors. Uh, he's got to grab a knee. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh. Every chef has got that honor. Thank you, Chef Jeff. Uh, chef Lusk. Chris, congratulations. We want to thank everybody here, all of our chefs. Give it one more time for our chefs. Thank you all. That concludes our ceremony today. We made a blue, a blue crab and shrimp noodle bowl. So we made a blue crab, camembert, and corn spring roll. And we served that with some grilled shrimp that had been marinating a little bit of Worcestershire and uh, Tabasco soy sauce. And we served that over some noodles that were actually boiled in absinthe. What was your reaction when they called out your name as the winner of the Louisiana Seafood Cook-Off? I was very surprised. <laughs> we had a lot, of, a lot of really talented chefs out today, so I feel very lucky today. What does Louisiana seafood mean to you? So Louisiana seafood is everything. It's the greatest seafood in the world. I made a Louisiana seafood with a coconut spicy green curry. Um, it had jumbo soft shell crab, soft shell crawfish, jumbo lump crab meat, as well as crawfish tails, fresh Louisiana crawfish tails. What was your reaction when they called out your name as the second place winner? I was very excited. I couldn't believe it. Um, actually, I was very excited to be representing Louisiana in this way with all the wonderful seafood there is. What does Louisiana seafood mean to you? Oh, it, it, it means the world. My restaurant is La Thai, which is La for Louisiana, and Thai for Thai, but we use all Louisiana products, all Louisiana seafood. I was extremely excited. I mean, this is the first time I've done this. This is the first time I've competed in this kind of competition, and it's, uh, it's a shock to win this award. It's an honor. What did you cook? Um, I did a sauteed of seafood, kind of like uh, with a twist of veal piccata, um, kind of did that method of cooking. It was really nice. What's it like to cook with Louisiana seafood? Uh, Louisiana seafood is the best. It's, it's the best out there. I mean, it, you can't get any better. Some of our fisheries are challenged. We know that because of area closures. But what you got to understand that 50% of Louisiana seafood is better than 100% of anybody else's. I mean, we've got more product down here. So it, it, it's, it's really, if you see like oysters are 40% effort, we're still better than the rest of the country in oysters. If you see that uh, shrimp are 30 or 40%, we're still stronger than any state in the rest of the country. You see, uh, you know, crawfish is 100%, alligators 100%, tuna, snapper 100%, catfish 100%. We've got a lot of strong industries that are still there. So, yes, we're challenged with some of the closures that we have, but they're all precautionary closures, and they're meant to tell the public in this country that we don't, we have zero tolerance for anything that's close to oil. You know, so we want to make sure that they're getting quality Louisiana product into the marketplace that they should not have to worry about.